I just wanted y'all to see that I am editing the vlog, vlogs from the beginning of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. They're all in one, so those are gonna go up. But what I'm doing right now is I wasn't doing anything but playing my video game and I realized I hadn't done my hair routine in quite a while, so. My hair routine does not always involve washing my hair, but it does occasionally involve washing my hair. This is one of those times that does not involve me washing my hair. I'm just going to add some natural oils to it and wrap it in this satiny type scarf. The first product that I use is this oil right here. I found that it works really well for my hair. It's lightweight and it smells really, really good. It's mostly coconut, but when I spray it on, I can smell tea tree as well. So I start with this. So first thing I'm going to do, move my hair around a little bit. You can see probably little flakes, dry skin. My brother and I both have dry scalp situations, but it's no big deal. So I don't try to go for a perfectly straight line. I just open it up as much as I can. And uh, just to separate it. And then the same thing on the sides. So I just try to get as straight a line as I can. I don't know if y'all can tell, but where is it? This one broke off, so it's a little shrimp now. <clears throat> I'm just gonna tie this off for the sake of keeping it out of my way. And I do the same thing on this side. And the hair is, they do join up together. So like if you're going for locks and you're looking for like super neat and all of that, like that's technically not what happens when you get locks. It's not usually a very neat and well put together style. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, all of that, um, all of that tension on your hair from retwisting or retightening and styling, all of that is why most people who grow locks end up cutting them off because they start to get thin and thin and thin and people think oh this is just something that happens when your locks grow no it's not there are people who have grown their locks out to pass their feet and beyond and it has nothing to do with you know a, a loss of hair or a diminishing of the thickness of the hair being a part of growing life it's because you're manipulating your hair too much you want to, if I was going to give my opinion and my perspective as someone who is a professional hairstylist and someone who has been growing locks for almost four years, I made it a point to not touch my hair very much. I did start out at one point between like here and here, retightening, but then I started to see that some of them, even though they were thin, they started getting like, they started to get a little bit thinner. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna stop with the retightening. It it doesn't, <clears throat> for me, I felt like I had a stronger lock down here when I started, cause I started out free for me. So this is my natural hair, my natural curls, free forming on their own into locks. Up here is when I started retightening. And I feel like this down here is stronger than this right here in the middle for that reason. So I decided to stop manipulating my hair so much. Even though 
I was only retightening once every three months or so because of the softness and the delicateness of my hair. It wasn't taking very well to it. And the minute I stopped, my locks right up in here are starting to thicken up. So when you're growing your locks and every two weeks you've got somebody tightening that hair up against your scalp, you're putting a lot of tension on your scalp and on the hair. The hair, because it's taking so much weight, starts to break off. That's where the thinning comes in. It doesn't matter how big your parting is. If you're continually doing that, your hair will get thinner and thinner and thinner until your locks are literally just falling off your head. So my recommendation if you're thinking about locks or if you have locks already and you're, you're wondering why you can't get the growth that you want or the thickness that you want, leave your hair alone. Let it bush up a little bit. Give it four to six months to just grow. And then go in with some oils or something and then maybe give it a light twist. But don't twist it, pin it, blow dry it like. Is that any different than what you were doing before you started locks? With the gel and the spritz and the ponytails and pulling it all back to put it under a wig or you're doing the same shit. Like, why did you start locks? So, <clears throat> to start off, usually I take my fingers and I just kind of rake it through because at the roots it is very, very thick and sometimes it can be a little compact. So I just kind of gently run my fingers through, pull any of those naps out that I feel as I go through. And sometimes like even at the bottom here, it's very, very compact. So sometimes I'll go in and just pull them apart. <clears throat> And this is just to help them stay where they belong, you know, so they don't join up too much. So, it reminds them where they should be without giving them that, you know, really tight retwist. Second of all, speaking of that, my hair doesn't hold a retwist at all. It's too soft. So I wasn't retwisting my hair when it was time to retighten. I was actually interlocking. And the interlocking was holding fine. You know, it turned into the lock and everything. But as I stated, because I had to get so close to my scalp, there was too much tension. So I noticed my roots, these started getting shorter and shorter. And I was like, nah, boo. So we had to put a stop to that ASAP. <clears throat> the next thing I do is I grab my spray. And while I'm raking, I just kind of lift, spray, drop some, spray, drop some more, spray. What I'm doing is I'm feeling for it on my scalp. Do not spray this on the hair shaft. That hair is, is no longer alive, baby. Anything you put on that is going to run right the fuck off. Your scalp is where your hair grows from and that's where it gets its nutrients from. So you wanna focus your spraying on your scalp. So we go through again, we go underneath, lift it up, get it nice and saturated. And now we want a more precise spray. So we separate the hair, spray it under there. Separate a little more, I'm taking about that much. Spray some more. And then I just go down the center and I go down this part right here. <clears throat> Take my fingers break it through and I'm feeling for any spot that isn't saturated so you want to see how my finger got caught on one right there that's a lot of new growth that hasn't locked up yet oh baby my finger always gets caught on that one but I'm feeling I'm taking my finger all the way to the root which is why some of these are coming like my finger is going all in between the lock because I'm feeling at the roots for any dryness 
and it feels like everything is covered. So I'm gonna tie this up. Well, before I tie it up, since I have it out, the next product that I use is this coconut oil. I find that this gives me a good amount of shine without weighing my hair down. It still moves and bounces and that's why I have all of this movement in my locks. A lot, a lot of people that I meet, their locks don't bounce like mine and they always tell me like, oh my gosh, your locks look great and they end up having locks too and I'm like, your locks look good, like, but I take care of mine and now you see, like, I treat my hair like it's a part of me because it is. So, I take this and I generally just kind of run it across here and then I rub it in. It's a very light oil. It's very light. So it gives it a little bit of shine and it gives it a very sweet fragrance. So I just do that up and down those parts and then I'm going to take this one loose, tie this one up. And I'm going to do the same thing. While it's dry, I just kind of separate it a little bit. Not too much. You don't want to manipulate your hair too much while it's dry because that's when breakage happens. Especially when it comes to this type of hair. When you have lots and lots of curls, wetting the hair first or at least making it damp helps it makes it easier to manipulate to comb out and one day when I get a chance I'm gonna show you guys how to detangle any hair without causing pain because there are quite a few people who when they comb their children's hair or anybody's hair it hurts you know the person is like ah 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 because you're doing it wrong so there will come a time when I'll show you guys how to comb out tangles how to detangle hair with a comb even with a tiny comb without hurting the person whose hair you're combing out so first thing I do is take the primer and then same thing separate now the reason why I don't um, you know hold this one up and spray it first without separating is because the hair up here obviously is a little thinner than the hair back here. My hair has always grown like that. I have a different texture hair in the front than I do in the back. So this hair back here is much thicker and much curlier than this hair up here. This hair is more wavy. It's like my dad's type of hair. So, and I don't want to oversaturate. I just want enough for my scalp to absorb and my hair to get its nutrients. And then I do the same thing with the oil. Just go along the part. And then across the front here. And I want you guys to get a good look at what that does. So it gives it a little bit of shine and then it also helps with those little flakes that you saw. So I'm going to join these two up together. And I'm going to repeat the process on the other side.
<clears throat> After I got it all done, I take my hair ties out and I just kind of run my fingers through it. Scarf. So to put this on, usually, there's two ways that I do it, but this is the way I'm going to do it tonight. Just kind of make sure the strings are even. And then I put, pull it underneath my hair. Cross it in the back. Bring it around to the front. And then I tie a loose little loop right here. Just a loose one. Twist these around each other. And then push it through here. How cute, right? And because I didn't do anything to the tips of my hair, they're still dry. That is, ladies and gentlemen, my hair routine. I hope you guys had a great day. I hope you're enjoying my vlogs. If you are, let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. If not, let me know by hitting that dislike button. I won't be mad, no worries. That's gonna do it for now. I'ma catch you guys on the flip side.